In today's video, I'm going to show you behind the scenes of one of my client's Wix websites. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for coming. Today is another episode of Wine and Design, which means I'm going to introduce to you a wine that I am drinking today. Um, this is actually the same wine I drank last week, but we're going to try it again because, you know, I don't know how to go through a whole bottle of wine by myself in one week. It's just, it's not going to happen. So we're going to try this one again. I'm just going to pour myself a little splash of it. But while I'm doing that, I hope you guys are doing well. I know that COVID has gotten kind of bad everywhere right now, which is definitely a bummer, but I feel like things are probably going to settle down soon, and I hope so, but that's good. I love the organic wines. Love them. I feel like they're just better for you. I don't know. I just like them. So definitely like the Bonterra wines. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys behind the scenes of a Wix website. This website is actually a e-commerce website and we decided to build it on Wix because not only is it more affordable for the like e-commerce store, but also it seems like it's going to be a really good fit for her to manage on her own moving forward. So we felt like Wix was a good option for her. So I'm going to be showing you guys behind the scenes of me editing the website, also setting up some of the shipping set settings and just kind of showing you behind the scenes of what Wix looks like as a um, e-commerce website. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful to you. Um, also, I did just make a video all about WordPress, um, but there, when it comes to e-commerce websites, I typically like to use either Shopify Lite and connect that to my WordPress. Um, I've used WooCommerce, I love it. I've never had any issues with it, but I do know that it can be a little less safe, I guess, or a little less secure because it's free and it's you have to make sure your WordPress is managed properly and up to date for it to be really safe and secure. And I know that can kind of scare some people, so um, I typically recommend my clients use the Shopify Lite or I have been really enjoying Wix, so I'm definitely excited to show you guys more of that in this video. But enough said, let's hop on over to my screen and I will show you guys what it is I'm working on. This Wix website I just recently completed. We're almost done, but I'm just going through making sure that it's responsive. So I figured I would show you guys how to make this responsive because there are, there's the old Wix page builder and then there's Editor X and Editor X is what I was using to develop her website. So I thought I would kind of walk you guys through just some of the things I've noticed with Wix. This is actually like my first really custom, well, I would say my second really custom website with Wix. So um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys just a few things about it. So typically with my clients, I, I tell them that they need to send me all of the edits before I develop the website. And I'm kind of learning that I need to make that more clear um, I don't mind making like small adjustments once it's developed because I know some things change and are a little bit different, but I thought I would show you guys because she sent over just some small edits for what she wants, some of the text replaced and all of that. So um, I actually already replaced this text right here because that was one of the pieces of text she wanted. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys just a couple features I've noticing with Wix Editor X. One of the things is, you'll see right here, it says unstack. So when it comes to different elements like these, these are all different text boxes. I stack them just because it's easier to align it to this section. You'll see those guides for me. Um, if it was grouped, you wouldn't see those guides. So it's important to stack them so you can see those. And then you'll also see that this image is overlapping actually it's overlapping too much so this is something we need to fix um, if i bring that down you'll see the text here um, and then what i really wanted to show you guys was just the options editor x gives you for responsiveness so if i make it ipad size you'll see that it's actually not fully responsive yet 
And then with iPhone, let's see how it looks here. It looks like it did it there, but we're gonna need to fix it for the iPad. So to do that, you would just edit, um, make sure you're clicked on this and then edit this section. So um, one of the things I also noticed is if you stretch to this section, you're not gonna be able to adjust the height and the width of it. So what I'm gonna have to do is hit unstretch Gonna look funny for a minute but then I can make this section bigger and then we can just stretch it again once we're done and this shouldn't affect the other the desktop sizing and iPhone but I am gonna double check that before we publish it so another thing I'm gonna do is increase that there and hmm, interesting I'm finding little things about the Wix responsiveness that kind of gets a little frustrating. But now let's see when I hit stretch, what happens? Okay, so it did make the section bigger. Um, figure out how to only edit on the iPad. And this is one of the things I'm just getting a little frustrated with on Wix is like, it doesn't automatically kind of do this for you. So it can get a little bit frustrating. Okay guys, I figured it out just through some clicking. I'm not very good at like watching videos to learn. I just have to click around and figure it out. So these are all called breakpoints, these different sizings right here. So you can even add some more if you want and you would just customize the sizing. But we have desktop, tablet, iPhone. So if I wanted to change this section right here to be the same as this breakpoint, what I would do is go to this area, click in here, and then do copy from breakpoint, and then you'll see it gives me these different options. So I want it to look like this, so I'm gonna hit apply, and if I X out of here, you will see it did that for me now. So it's actually way easier than I thought, um, but I'm gonna go through this, kind of edit some of the text, looks a little funny. Um, but yeah, kind of an easy way to do it. So let me edit the text here. And while I'm doing this, I am gonna go, I think it's gonna be doing the same thing for the iPhone. Yeah, but that's okay. Okay, so then for some reason this text looks all kind of funny, but I needed to fix that on mobile anyway. So I'm going to go through the site, make sure it's responsive everywhere and that all the buttons are working. And then she did send me this document of just some other edits. These are actually kind of simple, I just have to add a chart to the shop. But I thought I would show you guys how I do all that. Another thing I'm noticing is the footer right here isn't responsive right now. So I'm going to make sure that this is aligned right. So that looks great. Now I'm going to, it's automatically saving, which is awesome. I love that part of Wix. She was mentioning that this bar up here didn't look responsive, but I think I fixed that. So I think we should be good there. I'm gonna bring it over, center it with that. And it looks like we are good now. Um, now I just wanna make sure her Instagram, cool, set up. So now what I'm gonna do, um, I still need to fix this image for some reason. It's not being very responsive, so now let's see. I think the problem is the width that we had wasn't large enough, so let me see if I make my screen the full size. That looks okay now. Now if I bring it smaller, I think that that sizing is gonna be good. So I'm gonna hit publish just to save all of what we've done. And I need to check because the cart icon is not showing up. Our story, I wanted to see that image. All right, cool, that image is working now responsively. Um, this area needs some work, the Instagram area. 
it's I can't get rid of this free thing but I think I'm gonna leave it for now just because it's displaying her feed just like how we want it to I need to make it look more so like the home page where it's bigger and then when you click on it you can like scroll through not loving it but I think it's gonna work for now and then let's test this goes to her Instagram which is perfect <laughs> Was able to add a chart here under measurements and that looks awesome and then I also added the drop down for small medium large and you can either do buy now or add to cart just as the sunrise starts to show warming up the motorway you know you felt this way before but can't recall the time and day don't know if life is a small part of something greater And when you get off this raging horse, sings to whatever through made all of the changes and I just wanted to show you a couple things um, about Wix and to kind of think of um, so the cart icon here I'm having issues because it's not showing up on every page so I just had pasted it here and it's like kind of having a delay when it loads so I have a developer that's actually gonna help me with that part just because I already paid him to do some of this and I feel like that should have already been done so I let him know about that um, another thing is if I go to the cart this is something I had worked on I now have those options for the shipping and I did a test of international because all US orders are free shipping but international is not so if I go to United States and do let's say California 
update that it should say free so now that's working which is awesome um, the only thing that we need to do is set up the payments and we should be good so my developer is messaging me he's gonna help with that cart so the menu is the same on every page and then another thing I added was this um, photo credit so I added this photo credit um, and it actually is responsive now or it should be so if you make the page smaller it's still there which is awesome the cart I'm having some issues with that but he should be helping so I'm so happy with this website though I feel like it came out so cool and I'm really excited to launch it okay thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope it gave you some insight into Wix and what it looks like and also just how easy it is to really customize a page and make it very unique and awesome so I really enjoyed making this website I cannot wait till we launch it I think we're gonna be launching it this Friday hopefully um, if she can get everything figured out with shipping and her payment methods and all of that um, so definitely keep an eye on my Instagram for when we launch that because I feel like it's gonna be a fun website to go check out um, but yeah this video was so fun I really enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed it as well um, if you did I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up subscribe down below and I have a new vlog coming up really soon so be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss that one and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you guys in my next video.